Here at the Valley Stadium, after Hereford's 2-0 victory in their final pre-season build-up game, uh, your reflections on the performance today, Paul? Yeah, I thought we were good. I thought we were good for a win. I thought we probably could have scored more in the second half. Uh, the most pleasing thing for me, to be honest, is we've got players that come off the pitch that are fit. They are not injured, so we've obviously got a few, a few missing. But yeah, I'm really pleased with the result, pleased with performance, pleased with attitude. And... The best way to sum it up was it's a professional, professional performance. Uh, Nathan Cameron said that as soon as he walked in the dressing room to the large professional performance and, and he's spot on. And you must be pleased as well with the flexibility of the players because you put them in different positions today than you'd normally expect. Yeah, we had to. We, we, we went through myself in, in rooms last night for an hour, two hours, trying to work a way of getting our lads and the lads that are signed on the pitch and off as, as soon as we possibly can, try and get them through. I don't like lads. It doesn't sit com comfortable with me. It's probably because I, I was the same as a player of sitting down for 45 minutes then coming in the second half. And to be honest, this is probably the most nervous I've been in. since I came in. I were down to the bare bones. I just wanted people to get through the game and, and thankfully we did. And the goals as well, they were well taken. Yeah. Uh, first one, good cross from was it Ad? Uh, from Ollie. Good cross and, and Lass uh, getting in front. Lass again is one who's played up front, he's played left, uh, he's played in the 10, he's played centre mid and he's played right back and he does them all absolutely comfortably. So delighted uh, delighted with everyone overall. The second, second goal, obviously, Adam Livingston was quality from free kick. The only thing I said to him when he scored was when he's on the pitch, make sure he, he's on set pieces because his, his quality is there to see. He's obviously he did that against Pegasus in the, in the season out now. Yeah, supposedly he's got five out of five, so I don't want to put pressure on him, but that's what uh, that's his word. So, yeah, listen, it's, it's, it's the reason I brought him to the club. His quality, his left foot is there to see, and he's obviously got another. Listen, every time you hit, the, hit a free kick, you just got to concentrate and hit the target, and you hit the target, you've got a chance. You, know, you mentioned he was down to bare bones. I saw Carl Hankins here. What's the latest on here? Kyle is touch and go, to be honest. Uh, probably going to miss out, uh, to be honest. We've got Aaron Skinner will miss out. She's suspended from a mistaken identity from last year, but because it was a second jail, we can't appeal it. I've seen the footage. It wasn't Aaron Skinner was 40 yards away from it, but he had the same colour of hair as Aladdin got. There was a bit of a, bit of commotion and, and it was mistaken identity, but we can't do anything about that. It's a second jail. And Lasana Mendes, when is out for three games. We were told, we were made aware by the FA that his three games would be fine because Hampton in Wales and we just received an email literally two days ago. So thanks to the FA for giving us loads of notice. Uh, he will be out for three games because he's got a straight red card in a Welsh Cup final, I believe, last year, at the end of last season. So we've got six of our start 11 missing for the first game of the season, but listen, such is life, just got to go on it. Having said that, you brought players in, you know, not named that's yeah. trialists uh, today, or they run name trialists, however we want to put it. Um, any of them going to be scope for you to bring them in? I hope so. We uh, we're working within our needs, uh, within our means. What what we've got available, we'll, we've got to do a bit of wheeling and dealing, so to speak. Uh, so there's there's a few that that we liked, but whether we can get them to the club or not, it's a different story. But we will uh, we'll go home as we always do, myself and Runs, and we'll we'll spend the evening on the phone to each other, and we'll and tomorrow, and Monday, and Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Thursday, and we'll do everything we possibly can to have probably another, we need another four bodies in by, by next week. To be were honest. those players that could potentially be loan players that were even here today, or were they just trials? No, they're all unattached, all unattached. Uh, one of them's just come out of Cheltenham. Uh, obviously, Connor Stanley's been here for a few weeks. We we like Connor, there's no two ways about it, we do like him. It's whether we can try and get something sorted there. Uh, we had another young lad and obviously Jaden White with it. I've just went and named him, but that happens. Uh, all done well, all sharp, all, all had their moments in the game, but it's something again that we've got to try and work within our means and see what we desperately need and what we what we don't need. So you've obviously been really encouraged by performances, yeah. not just the results, but the way that the team have you know, gone about the business that you try to say this yeah. is the way at the Caddis. I'm calling it caddis ball. Perhaps I shouldn't call it caddis ball. Yeah, listen, it's just uh, I've, the boys have been a breath of fresh air, to be honest. They've been absolutely fantastic. The character, the, the attitude, the desire, it's, it's been spot on. And Listen, we, as I said, we're missing six of the start of 11, but I still am very confident going to Kings Lynn that we can go there and impose ourselves on the game. We're not just going there to turn up. and We're, uh, we're going there with a positive mindset. We're trying to get 
accommodation sorted for the night before as well, especially been down to the bare bones when we're travelling four or five hours. So we're trying to get trying to do things as professional as we possibly can, but we're obviously trying to go over a few hurdles with things like that, but we're, we're getting there. And you're going to build up this week during training? Yeah, we'll do a lot uh, this week. The, the training will change now. The dynamic of it will change. We'll do a lot of stuff on the opposition, but we'll obviously do a lot of stuff on, on what we can we can bring to the game. I don't want to just focus all on the opposition. That's not the way I work. That's not the way I will work going forward. We've got to impose ourselves on every game that we play. And finally, try and avoid a few more black cats. Yeah, yeah. Listen, People get injuries, people get suspensions, but it all seems to happen at once for us. But uh, it's a learning curve for me. It's, I'm a new manager in, in the game and, and uh, just another stepping stone that I've got to try and go over and I'm sure I will. Thanks very much for your time. Cheers, thank you.